So I've been playing a lot of Apex recently and I'm a person who always likes to improve in my play whether it's mechanics or understanding the game, map or even just general shooting. One of these areas happened to be in the aiming category and a friend of mine introduced me to a free program called Aim Labs. I'm in no way being sponsored by them, clearly. And when he showed it to me, I thought, heck, this is exactly what I need between games. Something to turn on, warm up real quick and just get better at aiming. The great thing about it is that it works for any game. It's good training and it's good practice and it will translate over to any game you play whether it's Valorant, whether it's CSGO, R6 and etc and etc and etc. So I got to digging into Aim Labs a little bit more and found out that there are some handy modes and settings to practice Apex Legends with this and this is exactly what the video is about. So the first thing we want to do is go over to the Steam store, uh, download Aim Labs and get it up. It's free and the link will be in the description so you shouldn't have any trouble finding it. So once you're in, go over to settings, go over to the audio, turn down all the unnecessary noises you don't like. I personally prefer not to have any music when I'm shooting, and I definitely prefer not to hear my own gun being fired over and over again. Now head over to the controls, and this is where things are very important. Change the game to Apex Legends or any game you're playing. As you can see, there is a lot of games that they have. So select the preference of the game you want. And I think they have an AI that changes the game to fit your playstyle or the type of the game you're, you're playing. If someone knows, let me know in the comments below because I don't know what changing the name of the game does. You can also change your crosshair as you like it. I prefer to have mine as white, but it's up to you guys. Finally, it's really important to go over to the game settings and change weapon sway and recoil to off if it isn't already. Also, something I wish I found a little earlier is to change the countdown timer to 1 because it's always default as 5 and you have to wait 5 seconds before you can start playing. Now this first practice mode is called Grid Shot and there is a lot of other YouTubers out there that will show you this one because this is the one they use most of the time to warm up before their games. I find this pretty good as well and this is going to be number 1 on the mode to try to practice to improve your aim. The idea of this mode is to basically flick and to aim with accuracy over to the next ball and the way you want to practice is so that you can improve your accuracy while increasing the speed of your aim as well. Some of my other friends can just go ham on this but <laughs> I seem to be missing a lot on this as well. As you can see from the very beginning, I just missed my first few shots right from the get go. As with anything, take your time with this and once you get the hang of it, you'll definitely improve. I think this is one of my best records I ever had, so yeah. Once you're done, you're treated with this statistics to tell you where you can improve and better improve your aim for the next time. And here is a list of your weaknesses. As you can see, my weakness is on the left side. And as the Greek suggests, I seem to kill better on the right side. My aim is better on that spot, so I'll probably want to take a fight in that area or improve the aim on my left. Also, as a little fun thing, there is the leaderboards that will change actively. Let me know if you know any one of these guys because I don't know any one of these guys. All these guys have godly aim. Now this next one is called Circle Track. It's great for high fire rate weapons like the R99 or the assault rifles, the Vault for example. It trains you to keep your mouse on a ball that moves and flicks around rapidly and the best part about it is that it gradually becomes harder and harder as you maintain that track so if you're really good at it it's gonna get really fast and you're gonna enjoy it okay let's come back come back i see that that one that's one you left Broke. down Down! Let's go! No bullets! Now this last mode decision shot is a bit unique in the sense that this is more of your tactical awareness. In this mode you are forced to remember the first colour that you shoot and shoot the corresponding colour. It would change in between which wherever you shoot in the middle, but I figured things like this would be very useful for when there are critical targets, say a Bangalore being low or a cracked 
Gibraltar, or even a character that just uses her ultimate or ability and is defenseless. I also figured that this will work great as a lighter grid shot to improve on your flicking. There are still many other modes that are in the game, aim labs, but I think these are the three main tasks that you can use to improve your aims in Apex Legends. Aim labs is still relatively new, so hopefully by the time this rolls out and improve, they'll have many other options to change the settings in game to make the ball smaller or faster. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Do you think this is helpful? This is not. And or even if you guys know of any other program that may help you aim better in Apex Legends. Thank you for making it this far into the video. I do appreciate you sticking around and listening to all of this. If you do like this kind of content, do subscribe and let me know what you would like to see in the upcoming videos. Okay, I have, that's all the ammo I have. <laughs> Whee! Got it, boys! <laughs>